All right, welcome to the video, brand new Word document. I'm gonna show you how to format your resume and CV in about five minutes. Um, uh, by default, you're gonna get one inch margins, but I like to use custom margins because it gives me a little more space to and to talk about my experiences and skills. So top and bottom, I like to use 19 millimeters. That's three quarters of an inch and left and right 12.7. That is half an inch. All right now your margins are set. I'm just gonna make that a little bigger so it's more uh, visible. And uh, starting on the very top, you have your header and uh, starting with the name. Let's come up with something fun. Sam Rye. Okay, you have your email. That's going to be professorjoboffer at gmail.com. And uh, so if you have any questions, you can send me an email to that. I will respond at some point. Phone number 0000000. And uh, let's make that all come to the center. And uh, if you're wondering about what kind of information to put on the uh, on the header, I have a whole video on that, so you can go take a look. Let's make the name a little bigger, bold it uh, so it stands out. Now you have your first line. We're going to start by um, with a little space. Let's start with a summary, sometimes called the summary of skills as well. And uh, you're going to have some bullet points underneath. And uh, you can find your bullet points right here under your home. Um, I'm using a MacBook, but depending on which version you have. And uh, sometimes you'll notice that depending on how you uh, have your bullet points set up, um, it's going to give you this very weird indentation. So uh, don't worry, in order to fix that, you're just going to delete it, go back to your bullet points, define new bullet, and from here, you're just going to uh, set this up exactly as how, how I do it. Indent at zero, and you're going to have your text position at 6.3 millimeters. That is a quarter of an inch, and this will look uh, fantastic on your resume once it's complete. So right here, um, on the summary, you're going to have a summary of uh, relevant skills, knowledge, experiences. Let's say you have your first one, you have your second one, third one. Of course, you're going to have to fill each of these in. And uh, let's highlight our um, title. So you're going to add a little color on this by pressing this paint thing. And you're always going to click from the left side here. So you highlight the entire line, uh, bold it, make it a little bigger. There we go. Now you have your uh, title heading. Let's go to the next step work experience. Okay, same thing here. Um, <clears throat> you're gonna have your position uh, that you've had, you've held, uh, company and location. I like to put that in parentheses. And from here, your tab is going to be tab is going to be your best friend. You're gonna have to use that quite a bit uh, to get the indentation. And each tab gives you a half an inch on the paper unless you've changed your settings. So same thing here. You're gonna have your date to date. And uh, once you have that, you'll notice that it's not exactly aligned to the right, but that's okay. But from here, when you've maxed out on your tab so that uh, an extra tab will put the uh, put it to the next line, from here, you just put space, space, space bar all the way until it gets to the next line. And then you bring it back, and then now you have a perfectly lined uh, information. And then from here, same thing. We're going to use lots of bullet points. So first bullet point is going to automatically follow from here. And so you said you put your responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And then you put your like first achievement, second achievement, uh, third achievement, and that would be one of your work experiences. So from here, super easy. You just copy it and then uh, give it a little bit of space, one line, and then you paste it. And let's say you have another work experience. So you have a total of three of them. Let me zoom out just a little bit so it's more visible. And work experience is also one of the headings. So you're going to color, bold, and make it a bit bigger. So I like to use 14, size 14 font for my um, categories headings and then just 12 for the uh, rest of them except for uh, maybe the name. So once you have your work experience, you're going to have your um, education, right? So education in capital letters. What is your degree in? Bachelor of I don't know, engineering, perhaps you study chemical engineering. And that's your major. Tap, 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 tap. Remember the date. When did you go to school? I don't know, September 20. 17 and you graduated I don't know, June 2022 perhaps um, the same thing here uh, once you've maxed out your tabs you're just gonna do space 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 all the way down okay great now that's aligned next line is going to have uh, the college of engineering so where you went to school at the university of I don't know t123 I don't know let's say that okay and then for your education, you're going to have bullet points as well. So kind of going back to your bullets, it's going to be automatically aligned as how it's showing on top. You put your, I don't know, awards uh, and scholarships. Mm -hmm. And you put your, I don't know, maybe your GPA, maybe courses that you've taken. I have a whole video on the education section, so you can go uh, take a look at that. I go through it line by line. So super easy. Education, same thing. Highlight uh, from the left, color, bold, and uh, make it a little bigger. Perfect. And that brings us to uh, the fifth category, which is also very simple. It's just the leadership. Mm -hmm. Leadership. 
or we sometimes call that like other experiences, extracurricular activities and, and such. So any kind of volunteer experiences or any organizations that you're part of, and you can, you're just going to copy this from the top or from the work experience. So very easy. Um, from here, paste. So position, maybe company or organization, uh, the location, you have your dates, uh, backtrack a little bit because it's pushed it to the next line, the space to align it to the right. So everything is just going to fall on, on the right side indent. So uh, let's say your third, the same thing here, color, bold, and uh, bigger. That brings us to the final end of uh, section of your resume, I like to call interests and activities or interest in other skills depending on how you want to call it here you can use a bullet point you don't have to i don't like to use a bullet point just because uh, um, it, it makes it stand out a little bit so perhaps you do i don't know yoga or you do some kind of sports you know write a little bit about that i have a whole video on this section as well so you can go take a look if you have any technical skills that you want to highlight you can write that here um and uh, i don't know perhaps you you do other stuff like i don't know cooking and such and then you write about that here same thing highlight the uh, color bold and uh, make it bigger and that let's zoom out a bit and that is how you format a resume from scratch super easy have fun